This Karen called the cops on me, had me trespassed from the gym, and almost arrested for wearing a tank top to the gym. This is the Karen at the CF Fitness in St. Cloud, and she must be exposed. For reference, this is the shirt that I was wearing when she called the cops and had me arrested at the gym. I call the cops, I can get banned from here, all of that stuff, but I will make sure that this is known. Everyone knows about this happening at this CF Fitness. Yeah. I'll make sure the address is known, and I'll make sure that people know what's going on here. Yeah. Because trying to have that scene or she's no. giving you the option ma'am, walking away bro. ma'am ma'am why are you why are you being di- why are you being disrespectful why are you kicking me out of here when i when i have a pay i'm a paying member no, tell her to get the cops i need to talk to the cops now 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 we're doing this i'll wait here till, till the cops come all right now we're doing this i'm gonna wait right here until the cops come me and him had a frank conversation he said i wasn't trying to call you a kid i wasn't i said cool bro we're good for everyone asking for part two of this Karen who trespassed me and had me arrested for wearing a tank top, here's part two. It says, just make sure I get this. It says, no nipple shown. So that was their dress policy. Now this was the shirt that I was wearing. Nowhere close can you see anything related to a nipple. But she already knew that. See, the thing is, I've come to this CF Fitness for six months, never had an issue. This was her first time even showing up to this gym. Apparently, she's the general manager who was sent down. Never has any employee ever given me a problem for wearing this shirt. This is how you, this is what I said. I Whoa. said, this is how you treat your customers. She said, you're yeah. not a customer here anymore. And I get that. And I get that. <laughs> what? Who, why are you look, talking to me? Like, why, are you being di- why are you being disrespectful? Why are you kicking me out of here when I when I have a pay? I'm a paying member. Long story short, she had me trespass, called the cops on me, and almost had me jailed for showing up to the gym in a tank top. Now I cor- I called corporate, I emailed corporate, they ignored me, they disconnected my calls, they don't care. And so that's the reason why I posted this video, because she had to be exposed. I literally almost got arrested and sent to jail for wearing a tank top. Females wear have their whole butts out, chest out, dudes wear V neck, but you pick me out of the lineup? It's not right, and she had to be exposed. Oh, shit! (laughs) Oh, excuse me? How many more sets do you have left? I'm actually done here. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Oh, no, that's okay. Thank you. So I met this guy at the gym that I used to go to, and he was hot as F. He was covered in tabs. He was a little bit older than me, because that's how I like it. Of course. And then one day I asked if he wanted to make a video. And we got caught out because we were- You mean a porn video? Staff member hanging around outside, and we're kind of like, this looks dodgy. And then the next day, the manager went up to him and said there was a handprint on the window in the posing room and wondered if he knew anything about that. Word got out, people watched it, and we literally got banned from our gym. Headphones. Then you should leave. If there's one thing I have, it's the audacity. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna go get the manager. The manager. I'm a bad bitch. I'm a, I'm a bad. Sir, sir, yeah. he was harassing me. Honestly, ma'am, your music. Was- yes, my music was loud. I think you should no, be the. It, no, it, it was not my music, and my music was not the reason he was staring at me. Cause he couldn't control himself. I went out of his gym. 
Ma'am, I have received several complaints of you making our guests uncomfortable. Please leave our guests alone. And your music is quite loud. So the manager said it was 100% all entirely your fault and I have no blame in this, but he's willing to give you a second chance to see in this gym. He really wanted to kick you out, but I persuaded him to let you have a second chance. You're welcome. I will turn down my music. But I better not catch you staring at me again. Want to be more flexible? Guys, someone asked me to go to the gym, eat snacks, sit underneath a blanket and watch Netflix. And you guys just know I'm going to do it. So here I am. This is actually my dog's blanket. And I'll be honest, I actually need new show recommendations. Honestly, guys, you know what I'm here to do. This is episode one million of me proving to you that no one gives a flying fuck about what you do in the gym. I've got snacks. I have chocolate fingers today and I have squashies. If you don't know about this combo, you're missing out. An elite combo. Guys, please comment down below your favorite Netflix show right now because I don't have any. This is what I consider a gym break. Why am I standing there huffing and puffing when I could be sitting here eating squashies, chocolate fingers, and watching the Netflix show? I love chocolate fingers so much. You know chocolate is poisonous to dogs and my dog ate half a box of chocolate fingers. Do you think I was paying £400 for a vet bill? No. I looked at him and I said, you better be okay. You know what's even more wild is that it's actually 11am. Anyways guys, this is episode a million of me proving to you that no one cares about what you do in the gym. Look at me. 11am in the morning, laptop, Netflix, chocolate fingers, squashies, blanket. No one's a clammy because no one cares. Do you want a chocolate finger? Do you guys want a chocolate finger? The sport you were training hard, why not, you know? I'm also watching Netflix, so. <laughs> This gym thought who built her whole following doing jackass stunts at the gym is the same female in this next video complaining. Oh my god, there is so many videos. Oh, when you see Natalie B Fitness failing bench press, but you don't say anything because you don't want to be made into a gym creep. And who knows, when I failed that bench press, maybe someone did see me with my camera and thought, oh no, let me not, even though she's literally stuck underneath a bar, let me not you say You had to shout for someone, didn't you? Yeah, I, yeah, and there was, <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I was like, honestly, Oyinda was like to my right and I was like, Oyinda, I was yelling her name, no one could hear me. And then a the guy walked past and I was like, excuse me, I was like, can you save me? And he came straight over, thank God. But literally what you're saying, some people just will not help her out because they're like, no, yeah. gym creep. Tough luck, sweet cheeks. It's thoughts like you who will try to shame men on camera for looking at you for one second because you're dressed like a streetwalker at the gym. This is modern women in a nutshell. They want to do things at other people's expense without the consequences. This is why chivalry is dead. It's a full give and take culture. Yet these females today only want the benefits of it, despite claiming they're strong and independent. You can't demand chivalry like you're ordering extra fries at McDonald's, you bed wench. Plus, like you admitted, you're working out on camera for social media. So how are men supposed to know you're not doing a prank or trying to get clicks as you are in this video? Great job, feminists. You have once again played yourself. The next time, hopefully you may not be so lucky. This world needs more gym fail videos. Let's see what the comments say. Before we go any further with the video, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to Michael Weston who said, If you have a ton of tats, you don't need dumb B across the forehead. It's already implied. Well said, my friend. We really don't need that redundancy. So please, don't forget to reach out to my email to claim your five bucks. As always, guys, I'm gonna pick one comment from each video. It could be the funniest, or the most liked, or one just that moved me. So don't forget to leave a comment, and you could be tomorrow's winner. So be sure to hit that like and sub button as the support helps out a ton. So now let's get right back to the video. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever One of the top comments says, you caused it, I'm dead. Exactly, but these females will never admit they're the problem. 
Thought asks, why are people in the comments blaming her? And someone responds, read the story of the boy who cried wolf and you'll understand why. Exactly, but these bedwenches barely think in the first place, so how are they supposed to read? And a whole bunch of comments are calling out this gym thought, claiming she's part of the female influencers who try to slander men at the gym. With comments like, and she literally started it. She's trying to rewrite history. She's the reason for it all. Funniest rebrand in the world. I think this is what they're referring to. She used her influence to be a crusader against so-called gym creeps. Here's a video of her calling out men for being nice at the gym. I hate this, I hate this, I hate when those weirdos. It's me so uncomfortable. Excuse me? You don't have to do that, it's okay. No, no, it's okay, I got it. Thank you though. So many people have sent me this video because I've been in this exact situation, so I thought I'd add my two pence. People need to understand that you are not obliged to accept someone's niceness just because they're being nice. If someone says that they feel intimidated by someone or something, who are you, as a stranger on the internet, to tell the girl how she feels? I was in the same situation, a man came over to me in the gym, tried to shove a mat underneath me, and everyone in the comments said he was just being nice, you should have taken the mat. No, because I didn't need the mat and I don't have to accept someone's niceness. And then people wonder why women just give their numbers or just don't say anything because no matter what you do as a woman, you'll be torn down by strangers on the internet, whether you stand up for yourself or whether you just accept it. That is a whole load of bullshit. This disconnect here is unreal. She, like most modern women, are professional victims. They just want to be helped out by Chad and Tyrone in the gym, like it's some fantasy of theirs while complaining about normal guys helping out to humble flex on other females that men supposedly want them. Dang, according to one comment, Natalie B Fitness is a fraudster. She started a GoFundMe to build a women's gym and stole 250,000 pounds and just bought a house instead. This is what they might be talking about. Fucking put that on the computer, it. This? Show the fucking world how fucking idiots act, okay? I know, I got okay, progressive. Look at his body language, look at the body language of the man standing next to him and take in the fact that there is a man, a member of gym staff, holding him back at the chest. Now, if that gym staff was not holding him, what is he going to do? And this is why I say women only gyms are needed because sometimes it's not even about gym harassment, it's intimidation. I know that that woman is nowhere near the size of that man and he has to be held back at the chest because he's so angered that she spent too much time on the Smith machine. Babe, you shouldn't be in the gym. Your gym membership needs to get revoked and you need to get a fucking grip. If you're a girl living in London and you wanna experience a women's only gym, stop spotting. I'm building a women's only gym and it is such a process trying to get the gym open. So I'm gonna be doing mini versions of my gym and the first one is next week, Sunday 8th of January. If you wanna experience what training without the staring, without the following, without the mansplaining, go and get your tickets. They are only five pounds and the link is in my bio. And I tell you, we're gonna be getting lit. We're not listening to none of that bullshit gym music. We're listening to I Spice, Meg, City Girls. We are turning up whilst training and that is everything that my gym will be when it opens. If you want to experience that, if you want to meet some Gymshark athletes, tickets are five pounds, link is in my bio. Guys, I'm back again. We've raised 16,000 pounds for my women's only gym. 16,000 Great British pounds. Guys, join the fundraiser. We're really getting this going. So for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I have two guides. One is a beginner gym guide. One is a one week full body routine. This one's three pounds. This one's four pounds. Everything goes towards my women's only gym. And we've raised 16,000 so far. As in over 4,000 of you have these guides. Insane. The link is in my bio. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's a hustle because I don't see her opening a new all women's gym. You know why? Because then she and the other thoughts can't complain about men staring at them. They can't get their daily boost of being validated by random men. By the way, this is how a lot of scammers scam people. Because instead of going to credited investors like VCs, who have much more money, resources, and business experience to get a business running, they crowdfund by getting their followers who are unaccredited investors to be their piggy bank. And crowdfunding doesn't hold them to the same standards as getting investors money, meaning they can spend the money on something else, I think. So her buying a new house, I'm willing to believe it. Okay, so this is me and my like second set, and I see what's about to happen, but I just keep working out for a second. Pay attention to where your face is belonging. No, I'm working out right here. If you want to use that, you want to right here. I, mean, I, I have no face. That's right. Do what you have to do. No, you're in my face. I'm not in your face. No, sir. Turn to the machine right here where nobody over here. That's the 
That's why I so at this point, I'm so aggravated because the sweat dripping in my eyes burning. He disturbed me in the middle of the set and I got asthma. So I couldn't even defend my little corner. And then he was like, do what you got to do. What that mean, sir? So you're upset with this man because you say he's in your personal space. I'm sorry. You don't get to set your tripod up to film next to a machine and call that your personal space. That man has every right to use that machine and that space. And he even moves his bag back to not be in your video. Then you go tell him that he should go use the other machine, which he explains doesn't work right. But who do you think you are to tell someone what machines they can't or can't use? Then you go and support comments like this saying, it's because this man is white? Seriously? No, it's because you're entitled and you think you own the gym, which you don't, and you think you're a victim, which you're not. You need to do better. Mind your own business. But then again, how are these bird brains going to get attention if they purposefully don't start shit? Part of me thinks they're super entitled and another part of me thinks they're addicted to drama and they want all the attention that comes with it. Let's read the comments. Top rated comment says, recording in gyms should be an automatic revoked membership. I wish gyms had the balls to do that, but most corporations are gynocentric. They're so scared about the feminist backlash. That's why I tell men to go to old school, hardcore bodybuilding and lifting gyms. You'll get better equipment and you can actually talk to the owner if there's any issues there. Female asks, why is she mad? He is using a machine that's placed there for a reason. Because modern women are entitled like that. They have no care for anyone else, especially if it doesn't benefit them, then you're a problem in their eyes. So this is what I just experienced, and if I don't rant about it, I will never let it go. So basically, I am in the like turf section doing my Bulgarian split squats on a bench, have my big red bag, my dumbbell, my water bottle, my rice cakes all in the spot. And I go to the mirror near me to go pose, okay? And do my routine, my 15 second routine really quickly. I turn around, there's a towel on my bench and someone's water bottle there. I go up to it, I look to the side, there's a woman getting her dumbbells. So I stand right beside the bench. This girl says nothing to me, walks up, starts doing her exercise. When I'm two centimeters, like my legs are two centimeters away from the bench. I literally go, excuse me, I'm using this bench. And she goes, oh, no, you're not. You were over there in the mirror. Are you fucking kidding me? I literally did not even engage at that point, And I went to the workers there and I explained the story and they came over. And this girl just kept doing her exercise, kept whatever. And I, I'm on my period. I freaked the fuck out. I'm not even going to lie. I have really bad anger issues. And I started cursing. I ended up moving her dumbbells back to the rack and she said some smart ass comment like, oh, thanks for taking my weights back. And then she started using my weight that I was using for my Bulgarian split squats. And then I ripped it out of her hand, tried to rip it out of her hand. She's like, I took this weight here. I was like, I was literally fucking using this. I'm screaming in the gym. Everyone's looking. I literally have a witness there and he's like, that girl should be ex like expelled from the gym. What she did was totally wrong. He was literally there to witness it. He can say anything he wants. I'm literally like cursing at this woman at this point she's not even engaging at me because she's such a fucking smart ass think she's better than everyone she's only talking to the person like i'm not gonna get screamed at i'm going to finish my workout and the workers were literally telling me just let her finish her workout and whatever how about she lets me finish my workout holy shit and i was literally like you guys see me here every day i don't disturb anyone i do my fucking workout i've never seen this girl and they were literally trying to get her information and like get her name and everything she won't give anything up fuck yourself you're a grown ass woman <laughs> i'm willing to bet this thought is also to blame for this because she's got anger issues however when two feminists go at it because there's no men around they glitch out it's error 404 except 304 it's the most entertainment you'll ever see and it's funny this female hates it when someone else is passive aggressive with her because i'm sure she's done it many times to other people it's the same operating procedure for most modern women. This problem could have easily not happened if she wasn't hogging the whole gym. But of course, she has a check herself out between sets as if she's going to win a Miss Olympia. This proves even modern women cannot stand each other at the gym. Let's see the comments. A male lifter writes, Even if no one is to be found near the equipment, 
If someone's stuff is there, I always assume it's in use. Exactly. But these feminists don't care. They live life on easy mode, so being polite and courteous, in their eyes, is for men. And the Karens most likely did it because she thought it was a man's stuff, as she can always cry victim and society will side with her if the man got mad. Another comment says, Some of the people in these comments obviously don't know gym etiquette, LMAO. You're stronger than me. Psh, I would have pushed her. These feminists who cry victim all the time sure turn to attacking people physically rather quick. Why? Because they can get away with it, especially if it's directed towards a man. Another female proves my point. Period rage is no joke. I would have caught an assault charge that day. And the chick in the video responded, Everyone coming at me like they never had a bad day. Imagine if you're living with one of these broads who casually admits that they'd attack someone physically for making them mad, and you make them mad. That's another reason in a long list of reasons why men are going MGTOW. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.